Hey, what's going, up, you guys? Yeah, uh, this is our first live action, well, not live action, but non-live stream video we since he done. returned. Yes. Um, yeah, it was pretty short. I only did a couple of videos, just me. One of them was Max mm -hmm. Condiment Challenge. Uh, we're probably going to do another one of those involving either Pop-Tarts or Oreos in the mm -hmm. near future. Um, anyhow, we have a pretty interesting video here today. Those are the top ten... Um, unreally popular artists that have um, made not the, really the way a I huge put it impact. is top 10 artists who didn't make a huge impact. Now, you may like these artists, that's your opinion, but yeah, if you really think opinions. about them, do you really think they made an impact in like the pop or rock scene? Mm -hmm. No, they haven't. No, they probably have it. We may be completely off, but we only remember a couple albums released by all these artists. Yes. And we can't really see them having the hugest impact on uh, the music industry. So, yes. Uh, number one. Uh, number one is LMFAO. I do believe these guys did release two albums. But out of those two albums, you can only think of, like, two songs you know from them. Well, Sexy and I Know It, um... Party Rock. Party and Rock, and, um... That's... That's that, it. That's it. I, I really don't know, and people nor who have impact normally have more songs. Yeah. The way I'm Me. also saying this is most of these guys are, like, one-hit wonders who don't, don't really have a huge impact. Yeah. These guys, you got to admit it, if they didn't exist, the pop industry or the jazz or whatever there. Like, it's not jazz. Like, pop. Pop would not would not be any different without them. Sorry if you're a fan of those two songs. Like, I just, these are our opinions, and you have to admit, those are the only two songs you know from them, and they haven't really been listed as a major influence yeah i mean obviously industry. their songs have obviously went viral ever yeah, since they've popular. been popular went off you know millions of views on yeah. youtube but it's not really a group that i'd go see in concert if yeah. you know what i mean and it's not really a group i would like I listen would to like, on an everyday basis yes yeah. no it's not really a group i would like to say influence the pop scene like say for instance you know like groups like People like Taylor Swift, I'd say she's had an impact on like, oh, yeah, pop huge. music. This group, I can't say that. Yeah. But uh, the next one, uh, Mumford and Sons. Now, Mumford and Sons, I I understand they may have some fans, but I um I don't really when I think of folk music, mm -hmm. I think that's what they're categorized as. I never find myself saying. I want to list Mumford and Sons are the hugest impact ever. Yeah. I just... Um, sorry, I'm just... Yeah, I don't even song. know... I know their song, I Will Wait. Yeah. And I know... And that's about it. Normally, um, I know more songs. Yeah. From um, them. Uh, do I know I any of these? Let me look. I believe. Uh, um, I think one of them... I know their song, Hopeless Wanderer. Well, Hopeless Wanderer is... Yeah, I mean, it's a very funny music video, that one, so just <laughs> watch it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, these guys, they haven't really made the hugest impact on folk music. Like I said, if you're a fan of them, good for you. Yes. But if you look past, you're not really saying these guys are um, monumental in the development of folk music. Mm -hmm. I mean, people like... Probably like Bob Dylan or like Johnny Cash would mm -hmm. be people who influence their type of music, you know? Yeah. These guys, that you can only, I can only think of like two songs I know from them, and I know they've released about two albums. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, not much I can say about that. Not much. I uh, can't do the honest for number three. Uh, Yo, Miss. Now, this song. Uh, well, this... I can only name one. This band, yes. I can only name one song that would hit viral. And that's, what does the vo fox say? Um, yeah. Uh, this... That does not really bring up the word sort of influence, yes. on my opinion. I mean, a lot of bands do this, but we're talking about... We're talking uh, about... At, at least most bands release more than a couple albums, you know? Yeah. I mean, um, but these are bands we feel like they haven't really done really. And and nothing. you think about it, that it's only that one song, and then what else by this guy? Any other, 
Any other sound? I got nothing. Yeah, um, so, I mean, yeah, like I said, you don't really look to pop music and say, oh, pop music will be nothing without you, Ulrich. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. Yep. Sorry if you're a fan of them. Um, number four is one you guys will definitely believe. Uh, Rebecca Rebe Black. Rebecca Black. Now, in uh, case you haven't heard her song Friday. I don't um, watch it. Don't I'm listen to it. I'd be very surprised if you haven't. But um, uh, if you haven't, I would not look it up. It's, the one thing... I'm just saying it's not worth the list, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, when I talk about, like, a song, I want to go, like, yep, go in yep, depth um, with them. Um, and sorry. Friday is high-pitched. It has an annoying, I... immature, and just doesn't really bring up the word... Really influence. influence or like huge impact like and like I actually I do know she has released other songs before mm -hmm. but that one just I it's just, like nails on a chalkboard yeah okay. that that just ruined it uh so, I'm yeah. sorry if you guys are fans my opinion but I'm Simon yeah. Cowell on this yeah. video so um I'm sorry but this next one could be debatable. Do you agree? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, um, next one could be debatable. Do you agree with yes. that? Yes. This one could be debatable. Um, but in my opinion, I don't think they've had as big an impact as other bands from their time. That's uh, Cl uh, Credence Clearwater Revival. Sorry if you like them, but just cheer us out. I've I know I know more. I know a couple of songs from them. They're very good, but. And Jim, uh, you can tell a different opinion if you don't agree with me. Mm -hmm. But um, if you look at all of the um, other rock bands of that time, this band kind of pales in comparison. Mm. Do, do you agree or disagree with that? I mean, I could agree that if some people say they were an influence because that's... Uh, what was the song named by them? It was the beat, not one. Prodigal Son. Yeah, Prodigal Son. Um... That song was made for, you know, Vietnam. I mean, I respect that. You know, that song... I'm not yeah. I'm not disrespecting their songs. I'm just yeah. saying... We're not disrespecting anything. We're not... Well, if you, We're not trying to say we hate these artists. I'm just trying to... I mean, they're, to... they're talented. They've, they've proven something. But we're just saying that these really guys haven't really made the biggest impact on like, like, really their type of music. They may be bigger than a band like... Like Off the Streets. Yeah, they're <laughs> bigger than a band like Off the Streets. Maybe Deep Purple is another band like them. But, um, yeah, I just... I mean, that's just our opinion, but, yeah. um... Yeah, um... Freedom's yeah. Clearwater, I'd rate, like, a... Yeah, I'm six just... Out of ten. Like I said, this one's debatable. I'm still debating whether they should have been on here, but yeah. I just... That's just our... We're sort yeah. of off, like, yeah, I the just, edge with that. I like. don't really think of them when I think of bands that... Are it like essential to rock? Yeah. You know? Um. So the next one is one that many of you will probably agree with. I know this band is one of the most hated bands out there. Uh, uh, but the Nickelback. Next one is Nickelback. Yeah. Now this one, I bet everyone can agree on. They, um, um. I don't. I've never really gotten to why everybody hates them. I've gotten it. Why? I, I will agree that there are their songs do have very similar music structures to them. Like, I I will, I literally can listen to one song and put another song in it by them. Like, I know there's a popular remix that I haven't looked up, but I um yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This is another thing like Cleans. Like, you never think, oh, influential rock band. Oh, top of the charts. Yeah. You, you never think Nickelback, do you? I don't, really. I mean, yeah. if I'm I thinking mean, of rock, I think of ACDC. Yeah, maybe know? early in their career, they may have had a bit of chart success, but I don't think they have it now. Do they, they? they just... I, I mean, I, I get why people down. hate them. I just don't hate them as much as other people, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, number... Uh, number... Uh, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, it's seven. Number seven. Alright, uh, number seven. Um, this one, um, Foster the People. I don't really have a problem with this band, do you? 
Not really, but like, I mean, this is a video. This on is another one we don't have a problem with. We just have a. This is just a video on. This is another one like Elvis. Like we only know one song from there. Yeah. Like we only know "Pumped Up Kicks." Yeah. Now uh, that song is very catchy. It's been, you know, I've heard it really recently because of memes yeah. that have used that song, and yeah, um, that song has been really. Uh, had an impact on today's, today's, um, you know, like, genre of comedy. But I'm not saying that that band's made for, you know, comedic purposes. I'm just saying that when I think of a band that's sort of, uh, an influence, I think of someone that, like, has done something that no other band has done. Like, you know what I'm trying to get at? Yeah, like, like... like... I, I get what you're saying. This is why these guys aren't really considered influence. This is why all these bands are. They really haven't gone above and beyond. Above and beyond on what they're trying to succeed like in. Like I said, Cleden's Clearwater Revival can be debatable. But debatable, yeah. Um, that's the only one that's kind of controversial, but... Uh, yeah, other than that, all these bands have just haven't really made a... Um, uh, uh, influence so far. Most of the bands we, we mentioned that have an impact have released more than one album. Yeah. You know, more than one song by them. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, uh, next one is Eiffel 65. 65. Or, I, I, I remember the name being 67, I thought. I thought of it, yeah, it was 65, I think. I, um, I don't know, it's it one song, of those two. It was the song, uh, let's, let's go back. Um, it was D Bobby Die no, something like that. Dabba D is the name of the song I saw. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's look at the name. Uh, I'm blue. Dabba D Dabba Die. Um, yeah, by yeah. Eiffel sixty five. Now these guys, I don't know them. Do you? I've only known them because of this one song that they've made. Yeah, but like, but like, a bunch of people, you know, have danced to this song. A bunch of people have even made parodies of these song. Um, a bunch of even people have made... I've heard people actually saying that this band or this group would actually fit in today's pop because of their catchy beats. No, but I wouldn't really necessarily say that that's true or false because, and I'm just like this band has just wow, like I, I mean it's sort of like not really being taken seriously. I I to be honest, just I'm just saying, but this is sort of like with the other for catchy beats. That's not really something that goes above and beyond. I mean, it's the it's the lyrics that. On my yeah. opinion, that really have to go on. Well, but there are also really some complex song. guitars and stuff that yeah. do stuff like this band didn't really do that. I understand dance bands, people. I don't know what those bands are called. Normally, mm -hmm. don't don't want this. But if you think of dance music today, I don't know if this is one of the bands that's brought up. Yeah. So, so now, uh, ne next one is not Eiffel sixty five, but Fox, and I brought up. The, slow, the song uh, Slow Motion because me and Joe haven't even heard of this band. Yeah. I honestly, yeah. to be honest, I just looked up yeah. top 10 unpopular bands. And these, this band came in number two. Yeah, I, I have to be honest. Um, I've never even heard of this so, song. Sort of like the same thing with Eiffel 65 or whatever. This song just. Have you generic. ever heard. Yeah, have you ever heard this band being mentioned on a no. local radio or. No. I just top ten, you know, playlists or something. No, no. I just it's not an impact. Not an like, impact. Like a bunch of bands probably are like that, but this band, like this band, is just wow. And... No, I'm not. I'm not. Again, we're not disrespecting anything, but if, we're just. These yeah. are just our opinions. If you know this band and you love them, uh, then go comment saying that you, you guys, guys are wrong. And this band is the next thing, uh, is the top. So, uh, the tenth one. and final one is, uh, would you like to do the honors? Fergie. Now, if you don't know who Fergie is, she's the, um, the, uh, female in, uh, Black Eyed Peas. 
she's the uh, girl in Black Eyed Peas. No. Sorry if I phrased that on, but yeah. um, I wanted to put Black Eyed Peas down, but I really, I do think they have had a bunch of successful albums. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, now I'm looking up Black Eyed Peas. When did they end? Um, I know that Fergie had done solo before the Black Eyed Peas because yeah. she had released the song G Big Girls Don't Cry in 2006 or 7. Yeah. Uh, that song has hit over 100 million views yeah, I and mean, over 500,000 likes. I'm just saying, I'm not entirely sure that that's sort of going to the fact that she does have an impact. Yeah, but like, I think this one's sort of like a duo of Fergie and the Black Eyed Peas because I'm Black just... Eyed Peas, when you think of an influence, I think that Black Eyed Peas would just be a band that you say, oh yeah, I've heard yeah. this band. You yeah, know, just this a band's generic great. pop band that's like, they make music for like a high school dance, you know? Exactly. And yeah, I just, and then Fergie, I've never even heard this solo song I heard. Yeah. So um, I heard that. that I don't, I don't want know if to, this. Yeah, I don't want you to play it, but but this um, song, I'll show, I'll play it for you after. But it's really not really. Um, it's a good song. I just wouldn't really necessarily call it an influence for yeah. me and Joe would. Granted, um, I just want to say something here. There's a million other bands that fit this this list. Li the list. I don't know if we can come up with others. But yeah. let us know what you think. These bands, we Give tried us a to like find if you bands that were sort of one-hit wonders who sort of came, maybe had a then couple left. of successful songs and then left. Mm -hmm. Most of these bands, I think, fit that. Mm -hmm. And artists. So and maybe. artists. But so, yeah, yeah uh, if you guys like this video... Uh, Thank you very much yeah. for um, watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications yes. for more content. And um, if you want more gaming videos, more of those are likely to come. So. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. And we'll see you next video.